Hartford in savings all year round. Find out how much money you can save by going to ConstantComfort.com and clicking on the energy calculator. That's ConstantComfort.com. This is the beat of a normal heart. Now this is the beat of a heart of someone who just snorted or injected or smoked methamphetamine. Why? For a high. And this is what happens to that normal heartbeat. It's irregular. It's racing. It's why it's called speed. And it can do bizarre things to our heads. It can make us aggressive and violent. We can start hallucinating and end up doing some serious damage to people. Call 1-888-8-NO-METH today for more information on methamphetamine. That's 1-888-8-NO-METH. A message from the Partnership for a Drug-Free Florida and America. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Officials in North Carolina hoping to avoid more violence as Charlotte reels from two nights of clashes during protests over a police shooting death. Attorney General Loretta Lynch urging calm. We've come together with thoughts and prayers far too many times for a victim of violence, civilians and law enforcement officers alike. Also offering local officials support from the FBI. Marine General Joseph Dunford confirming that mustard gas was contained in a rocket that landed on a military base in northern Iraq. Rock, and some ice cream lovers may want to check their freezers. Texas-based Bluebell Creameries is recalling certain flavors of ice cream after finding an ingredient from a third-party supplier could be contaminated with listeria. It involves half gallons and pints of Bluebell chocolate chip cookie dough and half gallons of Bluebell cookie two-step. Fox Radio's Kathleen Maloney, Fox News. We report, you decide. If you've heard of WeatherTech floor liners, you probably know that for your vehicle's floor, nothing protects better. But what about protection for the rest of your car or truck? I'm David McNeil, founder of WeatherTech. Besides our floor liners, we design, engineer, and manufacture a wide range of automotive accessories right here in America. And just like our floor liners, everything is done to the highest standards possible. We understand what kind of investment owning a vehicle can be, so we do everything possible to help you protect it. We don't take shortcuts, and we never make concessions when it comes to quality. For everything from cargo liners to cleaning and detailing supplies to mud flaps and car covers, the one place you need to go is WeatherTech.com. So if you are familiar with our floor liners, just imagine how well the rest of our products will work for you. Learn more about our full line of automotive accessories at WeatherTech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS, WeatherTech.com. Proudly made in America. We want to talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand. And now it's time for the boys. 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 You don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, stick your head out, and yell. Made it back! The voice of Ocala with Buddy Martin. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. I know your anger, I know your dreams. Good Thursday, Thursday afternoon. <clears throat> Welcome to the Voice of Ocala. I'm Tom Schmitz coming to you live from the palatial studios of WOCA Radio. 
just outside of the food court entrance to the Paddock Mall in the Brick City Beautiful, Ocala, Florida, on a sunny yet lingering clouds in the sky Thursday afternoon. Thank you for joining. If you're listening to us on the radio, I appreciate uh, you out there. I had a man walk up to me in the uh, bank the other day. Asked me, says, is your name Tom? I said, yep. He said, Tom Schmitz? I said, yep. He said, I listen to your show almost every day, so I appreciate you out there if you're listening to us. Uh, got a uh, something uh, Monday. We're going to roll out something Monday for uh, you uh, loyal listeners, so stay tuned for that. We'll, uh, Buddy and I will have uh, that coming to you on Monday. Plus, next week, all next week, we're going to have friends of the show in. Just going to have people uh, who have made it five years, made this show for five years, an enjoyable show with us, and uh, culminating with the uh, Martones. If Joe's available, I know Patsy, prayers go out to Patsy for her speedy recovery. But if the Martones are available, Dan, Joe, have them in and uh, culminate the week with uh, the people who uh, helped us get started here at WOCA. Uh, on today's show, I want to put out a uh, bulletin first. Uh, you all know, you all know, I'm very, uh, very in tune with the with pet ownership and the taking care of and going the extra mile to take care of your pets, uh, whether it's your dogs, cats, horses, anything. I am a board member for the Humane Society of Marion County, <clears throat> so I'm very, very involved with you know doing what is right by your animals. Um, this came across my desk, and I thought I had to share this. Uh, there's a U.S. Army veteran in Ocala who has lost his service dog. It is a male, black and gray Australian Shepherd service dog. It was last seen about 5:45 a.m. on Wednesday, yesterday morning, at Big Lee's Barbecue. Uh, that's on 45th Court in Ocala. It's located between Southeast Mare Camp Road and Southeast 45th Avenue Road, between the businesses of International Auto Body of Ocala. Paradise Bar and Lounge, Lounge Maricamp Quick King, and Ocala Aquariums, and Cun Cun Cunningham Flu Fluid Power. The dog's name is Alex, Axel, excuse me, Axel. Axel is a year old. He's a service dog to U.S. Army veteran Derek Barker. He is wearing his service dog vest and a neon orange leash. If you have any information about Axel, please call Derek at 352 321 1166. This was a uh, called in to WOCA by Derek Barker uh, today at about 1.22 p.m. So once again, help out a U.S. Army veteran here in Ocala, folks. This is what we're good at in Ocala, helping, each, helping our folks, fellow person, people out. It's a U.S. Army veteran in Ocala. He's lost his service dog. His name is, uh, the dog's name is Axel. Uh, the owner's name is Derek Barker. He is a U.S. Army veteran and a uh, Axel is a male, black and gray Australian Shepherd service dog. It was lost yesterday morning just before 6 a.m. Uh, in the vicinity of Big Lee's Barbecue on Southeast 45th Court in Ocala. Like I said, the dog's name is Axel. Uh, he's about a year old. He's a service dog to, like I said, U.S. Army veteran Derek Barker. He's wearing a service dog vest and a neon orange leash. So if you find this dog or if you've located this dog, uh, please call Derek at 352-321-1166 so we can return his service dog, Axel, back to him. I know that um, I lost my dogs uh, about six, seven months ago. They got out underneath uh, my fence, dug out underneath my fence, and uh, my girlfriend Jennifer was distraught with worry. And we put it out on Facebook, and I, as we're doing here at uh, The Voice of Ocala, it's going out on Facebook. Um, and within a day and a half, we had located both of our dogs. One of them had been picked up while it was running out in the road. Thank goodness it did not get hit. One of them had been picked up, a lady that lived out in the Ocala National Forest, taking it home. When she saw the Facebook post, she immediately made arrangements to get in touch with us, brought us our dog Elvis back. Uh, the same thing happened with uh, our other dog, um, Irk. And so <clears throat> the power of passing it on through Facebook, through social media, through radio outlets like I'm doing today will hopefully help bring Derek Barker, his service dog, back, U.S. Army veteran Derek Barker, his service dog, Axel, back to him. So if you can hear my voice, 
Try to help us find a male black and gray Australian Shepherd service dog. It was last seen around 6 a.m. yesterday in the vicinity of Big Lee's Barbecue. His name is Axel. He is a service dog for U.S. Army veteran Derek Barker, and he is wearing his service dog vest and neon orange lease. So uh, thanks, uh, you know, ahead of time, because I know that our, the folks out in Ocala will do the right thing and search for this dog and find this dog and return it to its owner, U.S. Army veteran Derek Barker. I hadn't really... talked about the Charlotte shootings and the, 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 the subsequent riots and now it looks like someone was killed last night. A protester was killed but it looks like it was civilian on civilian where he got shot in the head. That's what the police are saying. We'll talk about that after the break. Uh, I'm going to try to reach Dr. Brown, not Nicola Brown of Aris Therapeutic Services but she is out in California receiving an award so if I can't get her I'll tell you about Aris Therapeutic but we'll just try to reach her. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the Charlotte mayor and what he said about the police shooting and the unrest. Um, Chief uh, Kerry Putney of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police uh, had a news conference this morning about 10.45 a.m. Said they're not going to uh, make uh, the shooting video public. It will not be made uh, given to the public. Uh, um, he has no intention of releasing the dash cam video of Keith Lamont Scott's shooting to the masses. Ask if it was a time at which the public could expect to see it. Chief Putney said there would be no such expectation. Transparency is in the eye of the beholder, he said. If you think we should display a victim's worst day for public consumption, that is not the transparency I'm speaking of. So Scott's at family asked to see the video. Putney said he hopes to accommodate that request. He warned, however, the video will not provide definitive visual evidence that Scott pointed a gun at police officers. But other evidence and witness accounts support the police narrative that officers opened fire only after Scott refused to drop his weapon. So a lot of unrest in Charlotte, and the police chief has said that they will not be releasing video of the shooting. Coming up after the break, there's breaking news. Um, CNN's put it out, as well as Reuters. And if you're a Yahoo subscriber, you need to listen up. And I am. I have uh, one of the original... We were a beta tester school, a beta testing school for Yahoo way back in 1994. Georgia Southern was, 93, Georgia Southern was. And it was my first year uh, I was studying, taking a few elective classes, trying to uh, really just continue to party going before I decided I wanted to go to graduate school. But um, I was got a Yahoo email address, one of the first ones. Um, I, I'm in, uh, my, my, my Yahoo account number is under 100,000. That's that's how my first Yahoo account was that new. Um, I have subsequently three more Yahoo accounts, so this is something I'm interested in. And anybody else that uses Yahoo or has a Yahoo email account or something, you'll be interested in this as well. I'll tell you what that is after the break. This is the Voice of Ocala on a Thursday afternoon. Buddy Martin to join us at 3.30. Southern Pigskin tonight at 4 o'clock on the 4 o'clock edition of Southern Pigskin tonight. Terry Bradshaw in rare form he gave us some great insight on what he thinks about the quarterbacks right now in the nfl grade some of the quarterbacks in the nfl um talks about um where he thinks it, that they that quarterbacks are right now and where he thinks the state of the nfl is right now and uh steve spurrier john adams and robbie andrew talk about the florida tennessee upcoming football game this weekend plus uh you get a uh, Terry Bradshaw gives us his picks, and he's not real happy with Buddy and I about how we picked for him last week. You'll hear all of that on Southern Pigskin tonight, yet to come, right here on The Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Requires bank approval. Vehicle purchase process effects trade alone. Keep calm and drive on, Ocala. Chris Spears here from Prestes Auto Sales. All the negative news and political pandering is driving me nuts. What's worse is listening to it while commuting in a car you hate. That's why we want to help you get out of your old ride. See you can come and drive on. Even if you've heard no before, at Prestes Auto Sales, we want to make your transportation problems a thing of the past. Past credit problems? Keep, Keep calm and drive on. Owe too much on your trade? Keep, Keep calm and drive on. Think you can't get approved? Keep calm and drive on. Our For the People credit approval process is the best. We work harder to get you approved so you can keep on keeping on. It's easy because it works. We can get almost anyone approved. But hurry, this deal's over once we've helped 83 people get approved. I'm Chris Spears, your 
dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales today on Highway 200 in Ocala or see all the cars at PrestigeFree.com or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See you at Prestige. Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cala Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is a place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of Friday Night Marion County High School Football on WOCA. The source. Down south, college football can be pretty intense. But there's one thing all fans can rally behind. Tailgating with ice cold Bud Light. So load up your cooler with America's favorite beer. Fire up the grill and get your game day playlist ready. No, not that one. This one. Because there's no place we'd rather be tailgating this college football season than Saturdays down south with Bud Light. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, AB, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. And this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. Veterans are the foundation upon which our freedom is built. Listen to The Source WOCA each Thursday at 9 a.m. to Veterans News with Hank Whittier from Vets Helping Vets. You'll hear tributes, information on veterans' issues, and stories that will make you laugh, cry, and feel proud. Veterans News always focuses on the military, past and present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. This is Kendall Carpenter with Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. I want to introduce you to the finest equestrian opportunity available. If you love horses and enjoy Central Florida's mild climate and rich rolling landscape, come explore Golden Ocala. Bridal trails weave their way through this stunningly beautiful community of stately homes. Our state-of-the-art equestrian center will meet all of your equestrian needs with style. Visit us at goldenocala.com. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala on a Thursday afternoon. Normally you would hear healthy living with the doctor's various therapeutic services. Dr. Brown is <coughs> in Los Angeles receiving an award, uh, and with time differences and all, I guess we were unable to hook up. I called, and the phone rang a few times and went to voicemail. So uh, the air therapeutic services are here in Ocala. It is a cross of holistic um, homeopathic medicine and traditional medicine um, some with teaching and learning on how to keep yourself healthy through preventative um, uh, preventative methods like stress uh, control and 
hydration. So if you want to find out more, <clears throat> go to airsglobalinc.com. That's airsglobalinc.com. Or give them a call, 352-512-0222 today to set up a visit to go get a very informative walkthrough of Airs Therapeutic Services. Uh, Dr. Nicola Brown and her staff do a fantastic job. So give them a call, 352-512-0222 today. Before we went to break, I told you about Yahoo. I'll get to that story in a minute. But I'm always amazed, working in radio, when this phenomenon happens. During the break, the phone lines lit up here. There was a caller on the line. Uh, and by the way, if you'd like to call, 622-9622 is the number. I answered it. I said, WOCA, can I help you? And she said, did I win? Did you win what? Did I win the free dinner card to the restaurant? To what restaurant? The one you just told listeners to call in and try to win. What station do you think you called? She says, 95.5. Said you're about eight tenths off. (laughs) I don't know what 95.5's number is. I know what 96.3's number is. 622-9622. Somehow she got that number thinking she was calling to win some sort of I don't know what she thought she was winning but then she was like oh so you're not that ready well do you have their number what (laughs) she literally asked me well if you're not the one giving it away do you have the number to the station it is okay yeah get right on that get right on that it just amazes me the assumptions people make that she found she figured out she had the wrong radio station and then asked me well can you give me the right radio station's number you called the right radio station 6229622 just not for the right reason if you would like to call us 6229622 give us your thoughts on anything that may be of importance to you today i know we didn't take calls yesterday when the mayor was in if you'd like to give a, a an opinion on what you heard yesterday, you can go ahead and do that, 6229622. Let me get this story. Yahoo has confirmed today that data associated with half a billion account users has been stolen in what may be one of the largest cybersecurity breaches ever. The company said it believes a state-sponsored actor was behind the data breach, meaning that an individual acting on behalf of a government. It is said to have occurred in late 2014. Okay, it's the it's late 2016. Don't you think we should have heard about this before two years has passed? The account information has included names, email addresses, telephone numbers, dates of birth, hashed passwords, uh, and in some cases, encrypted and unencrypted security questions and answers. Yahoo urges users to change their password and security questions and to review their accounts for suspicious activity. This stuff was stolen two years ago, and I hadn't seen any suspicious activity yet. What's the chances? The silver lining, Yahoo says, for customers, if there is one, is that the sensitive financial data like bank account numbers and credit card data are not to believe to be included in the stolen information, according to Yahoo. Yahoo says it is working with law enforcement. A large-scale data breach was first rumored in August when a hacker who goes by the name of Peace claimed to be selling data from 200 million Yahoo users. The same uh, hacker previously claimed to sell stolen accounts from LinkedIn and MySpace. Yahoo originally said it was aware of a claim and was investigating the situation. Nearly two months later, it turns out the situation is even worse than first reported. Uh, So two years ago, Yahoo, if you're a Yahoo user, two years ago, Yahoo says your accounts may have been hacked. So if you're a Yahoo user, Yahoo says in late 2004, half a billion accounts were hacked. So if you're a Yahoo user, half a billion Yahoo accounts have been hacked in 2014 with information like dates of birth, names, email addresses have all been compromised. They suggest you go change your passwords and security questions. You think? Let's go out to the phone lines. Once I can answer it. Hi, caller. Who's this? This is Lenny. And um, didn't call for the dinner. 
<laughs> no, no. Yeah. Well, Lenny, if you were calling for the dinner, I don't know the number. <laughs> Some people, you know, the, the fact that the fact not only did she once she figured out that she had the wrong radio station, she goes, "Well, do you know the number I need to call?" That was a Trump voter. <laughs> I don't know who she's voting for, but whoever she votes for, that's a wasted vote. <laughs> anyway. Um, I was calling in regards to the the thing uh with the um police chief and the mayor. You know, this thing is really it I I just really hate to say this but it's the truth. If this thing had been handled correctly, it never would have gotten blown out of proportion like it is. Um I'm very familiar with the human resources and EEOC uh, type of uh, complaints because I've been involved in those things, and I can tell and have been involved with uh, a problem with the police chief, um, as I had stated earlier. Uh, at that time, it was Chief McGee, right? The council and the mayor handled this thing properly. There was no big lawyer fees. Uh, there were resolutions. Um, there was a committee. It was citizens' input. Uh, employees' complaints were handled. Everything went smoothly. I would suggest that maybe someday uh, the, the mayor take a look at that report that was issued by that Blue Ribbon Committee that was appointed by Craig Curry. I think he could learn some things from that. Well, Lenny, now, I, go ahead, Lenny. Having said that, yesterday Mr. Martin said that uh, people had gotten rid of the sheriff and running out of town. Nobody got rid of the sheriff. The sheriff ran himself out of town with his behavior. Gone are the days of Willis Bacall and L.O. Davis. Those days are gone, thank God, and they got, they aren't going to return. Well, Lenny, hey. Everybody um, has to answer to the law. The law is not one individual or two individuals. Lenny, I'm up against the break, but thank you for your comments. Oh, okay. Uh, Chris Spears, uh, who knows that I'm on the radio every day from 3 to 5 p.m., is reaching out to me right now. I'm about to call Chris in the break. But yes, man. Trying to get me to say yes on the phone while we're live on the air. Lenny makes a good point that um, the 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 sheriff um, through his testimony at a grand jury helped facilitate his exit from office. If you believe what the what the state attorney says, if you believe what Chris Blair says, Chris Blair still adamantly <clears throat> says he is an innocent man who just took the deal, so he didn't have to put his fa- family and uh, loved ones to a lengthy dragging of his name through the mud. You make your decision on what you think is the right uh, uh, situation there. Uh, but that's both the state's attorney said he perjured himself, and Chris Blair said that uh, he didn't, but it wasn't worth the long and drawn-out legal fight that it would take. So this thing with uh, Chief Graham still has to play itself out. Still the investigation has to go on. And like the mayor said, once the investigation is thoroughly finished, then a decision will be made. But up until that point, Chief Graham is still the chief of police just on what is now we know is voluntary administrative leave or will become a voluntary administrative leave tomorrow. I'm to understand that he that will be presented to the city council at a meeting tomorrow. And then they can accept the voluntary. They can move forward with the vote to suspend him, but I'm pretty sure they'll accept it. I'm, I'm almost, you know, common sense says they'll probably take the the voluntary uh, leave that the chief has offered. Hey, coming up next, Buddy Martin joins us right here in studio for uh, a Thursday edition of the Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source.
Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. Hi, I'm State Farm agent Angie Lewis. Come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district, 416 East Fort King Street, or call 291-2444. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping, Shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Officials in North Carolina hoping to avoid more violence as Charlotte reels from two nights of clashes during protests over a police shooting death. Attorney General Loretta Lynch urging calm. We've come together with thoughts and prayers far too many times for a victim of violence, civilians and law enforcement officers alike. Also offering local official support from the FBI. Marine General Joseph Dunford confirming that mustard gas was contained in a rocket that landed on a military base in northern Iraq. Rock. And some ice cream lovers may want to check their freezers. Texas-based Bluebell Creameries is recalling certain flavors of ice cream after finding an ingredient from a third-party supplier could be contaminated with listeria. It involves half gallons and pints of Bluebell chocolate chip cookie dough and half gallons of Bluebell cookie two-step. Fox Radio's Kathleen Maloney, Fox News. We report, you decide. If you've heard of WeatherTech floor liners, you probably know that for your vehicle's floor, nothing protects better. But what about protection for the rest of your car or truck? I'm David McNeil, founder of WeatherTech. Besides our floor liners, we design, engineer, and manufacture a wide range of automotive accessories right here in America. And just like our floor liners, everything is done to the highest standards possible. We understand what kind of investment owning a vehicle can be, so we do everything possible to help you protect it. We don't take shortcuts, and we never make concessions when it comes to quality. For everything from cargo liners to cleaning and detailing supplies to mud flaps and car covers, the one place you need to go is WeatherTech.com. So if you are familiar with our floor liners, just imagine how well the rest of our products will work for you. Learn more about our full line of automotive accessories at WeatherTech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS, WeatherTech.com. Proudly made in America. On this episode of What Not to Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. I love vacations, but it's good to come home. Um, is the pool overflowing? We don't have a pool. And even if we did, it wouldn't be on the second floor. Oh. I told you before we left to turn off the water main. I thought you said take down the weather vane. We don't have one of those either. Yeah, I was wondering why you said that. It does make more sense now. Okay, genius. Don't just stand there. Cut the main water off. Okay, I'll get the chainsaw. Wait, what? No! What do we do when there's a plumbing issue? Oh, I got this one. I'll be right back. I said no chainsaw. Shut the water off and call Mike Scott Plumbing. Uh, of course. I definitely was not going for the blowtorch. Uh-huh. The number should be etched in your memory, but just in case. 866-314-4443. Okay, got it. 866-314-4443. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Really? 
A mariachi band? Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has a CD special 25 months for 1.41% APY with a 10000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, a government agency. These rates effective through September 30th. Subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or their website, flcu.org. Or call 352-237-8222. Don't miss this 25-month CD special. Again, the APY is 1.41%. Act now. There's a car accident in this country every five seconds. That's why Allstate thinks it's time for an entirely different kind of car insurance with features like accident forgiveness and a safe driving bonus. It's called Your Choice Auto, and it's only from Allstate. Are you in good hands? You deserve better. Sign up for Your Choice Auto from Allstate. Call the McDonald Agency today at 622-2333. Features are optional and subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Insurance, Northbrook, Illinois. In fact, am I on the air? Hello? Am I on the air? Hello? You are. Hello? Am I on the air? You're on the air. Oh, oh, thank you, Tom. Oh, I'm on the air? You've been on the air. This is kind of new to me. I know. Your mic's not on, though, is it? My mic's on, too. Is it? Yep. It takes a while. There's there's an echo somewhere, though. It takes a while. You know, it's been only five years and a month. One at mic one and two were up real loud, so you were hearing me on all three mics. That's Well, hey, that is really, that's frightening. You were hearing me... Triple. I heard you all morning long doing Southern Pixie, and that was enough. Hey, you hear about this story? Have you ever wondered who all has your information? Your Because you know people got it. Every time, you won't even go to a gas pump and put your credit. No, no, I don't, I don't do I don't. Are you, are you about to tell us about Yahoo? Yeah. I told us about Yahoo. Now, I know you did, yeah. but I'm just saying to you, it, it's, it's another example of there is no security. Think about this. Half a billion users. You know what that is, buddy? Let me put that in math terms for you. Ready for this? That's one fourteenth of the population of the world. <laughs> I, don't that? Even, I don't even like Yahoo, except when well, I used to have the sports, and now I can't even get that to work right. So. One fourteenth of the entire world population. It's 150 million more people than are in the United States. Yeah. Well, anyway, somebody screwed up, obviously. And uh, you wonder about the information that's out there and the hackers, and it's nothing sa- safe anymore. I'm amazed. Why did it take two years to get to us? <laughs> yeah. It happened am- in 2014. <clears throat> I'm amazed that more banks aren't hacked, you know, because once you get in there, I mean, it's uh, got to be the worst nightmare for people who have cash. For It's like robbers out there outside knocking on your door. And, you know uh, they're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So uh, again, it's just another every 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 couple of months when you read another big company's been compromised. You wonder if you're on it. Of course, no one would want mine because there's nothing in my bank account. Half a billion subscribers. A lot of it. So yeah, for sure. Hey, uh, <clears throat> coming up at uh, next hour, we got the Southern Picks again tonight. Good show. It's Terry Bradshaw was lively this morning when we sat down for our tape session and Coach Spurrier leaning in on the Tennessee Florida. I just did a show up in Knoxville at Fox Sports in Knoxville. They want to know if what we're thinking. What are you guys thinking down there? Is this like coming for your check, you know, whatever? <laughs> <clears throat> I said kind of like that, you know, and uh, we talked about the lack of a rivalry. And um, and, and folks up there, are uh, they're, they've had it. They're tired of this. And if, if Florida beats Tennessee, it's going to be like as bad as the beatdown was for Florida State in some ways. It, it will, uh, it Maybe even worse, uh, John uh, Adams said uh, on the radio that it, it could be devastating for the program. Yeah, and that's going to be one of those things. You know, when you get in somebody's head, and that was what Spurrier did beautifully. He could get in your head. Although his record wasn't that great at, at uh, in Knoxville, he had a lot of big games up there. Uh, he, of course, I thought he was be- – I thought when you told me his record – 
a couple of days yesterday or the day before. Mm-hmm. I, I thought for some reason it was better than that. At Florida, yeah, he was three and three. So um, he told me that just the other day. Yeah, I, thought, I, I did too. I thought it was better than that. Eight and four, but you know, he, he got Tennessee handed him one of the most devastating defeats of his career. You know which one it was? Uh, two thousand one. Correct. He thinks that 2001 team was right up there. Last game his, of the season instead of 90, third game of the season. With his 95 and 96 team, he thinks that with Rex Gross from that team, and they led the nation or something in scoring and whatever it was, and Rex was leading the, setting all kind of records. Uh, and that team, because of 9-11, that game was moved to the end of the season, and Tennessee came in the Florida field and – was it Travis Henry had that big day against them that day? Or was that another year? Anyway, they came out. They ended up beating Florida. The last game knocked them out of the SEC uh, championship game, and it was Spurrier's last regular season. And of course, he beat Maryland in the Orange Bowl. And, and then in January, gone made the statement. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> so that was a big loss. Although he was, uh, as he says, he was. You know, that was a big loss for the city of Gainesville, and I'll tell you why. That was a devastating loss to the city of Gainesville because that was supposed to be the third game of the season. And I, at the time, was a business owner in Gainesville. I I was the majority, the managing partner of Mellow Mushroom. Mm-hmm. And all the restaurants and everybody that lost the money that that weekend from the tragedy, it was 9-11 and the games being canceled and all. I mean, that's what people forget about 9-11 is, yes, the, the death toll and the sacrifice and the viciousness of the attack, but the ripple effects of 9-11 that it had on – Commerce across the country and everything with cancellation of events and everything, that was a – it took us a while to recover from that because that was a weekend we had planned seventy five, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 worth of commerce at our restaurant alone. Yeah, and there are a lot of businesses in games, so they're geared up for those six home games. That's how they make their whole – yes, that's what this called their Christmas. That's how you make your bones. And uh, the, the Christmas – you know, a lot of people, retailers live for Christmas. Well, that is Christmas six times a year in Gainesville. So it's an important thing. So anyway, so so talking about that game, it's uh, 3.30 on on Saturday. Uh, starting quarterback, we know now it's Austin Appleby. We'll see how he holds up uh, with Josh Dobbs. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be interesting how, to see how Dobbs plays because he's been built up quite a bit. He's a terrific athlete. He's an outstanding runner and a pretty good passer. And he's been a good leader for Tennessee, and they need this win really bad. So well, we'll see how it works out. I know that he's faced an Appalachian State defense that caused him all kind of problems. And Appalachian State's defense not the number one ranked defense in the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guys were asking me uh, from Knoxville, what I would, is there something you think that McElwain might be concerned about? I said, well, I would think he'd be worried about his offensive line, you know, which has not been totally settled yet. Um, if any, if anything, of course, he's worried about it. his quarterback Appleby. Could he hold up? But uh, other than that, they're solid. The kicking game, the defense, you know, wide receivers are coming along well. Four deep running backs, and so they're in good shape there. But uh, then they wanted to know, well, what I expected is there any, what do you think he might do behind closed doors? And I said simply this: if if I were him, and I'm not, and I don't know nearly as much football, obviously, I would I would put Appleby more in the zone read. Use him on the edge a little bit and have him raise up a couple of times, throw the ball off the zone read to get those defensive backs caught off guard. And I would run the ball more because if he gets his offensive line going, Tennessee's front four is very good, but their linebackers are just average. And so I would take I would take the, the fight to them. I would run the ball. I would try to keep the zone read. I would try to keep possession. And above all, not turn the ball over. So that would be my formula. Well, I, had a, I have a friend of mine that's a Vols fan here in town that said, well, we got to like our chances now with the backup coming up to Tennessee to play. I said, well, the third stringer came up and beat you two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Treon Harris was the third string quarterback, beat you two years ago. Yeah. And, and that's a good point because look at what – look at the quarterbacks. Just say, well, what kind of a coach is Michael Wayne and what – Nussbauer, of course, the quarterback coach. Unknown quarterback last year, Will Greer. All it does is take him on a 7-0 and run to beat Tennessee, right? Unfortunately, after that, Trent Harris was not much of a quarterback. He just wasn't talented enough. Now you come along this year and say, okay, who's the guy? Everybody says Del Rio. Well, can he throw the ball? Del Rio worked out just fine the first three games. Now he's out and I'm saying, now what are you going to do? Now he's got Appleby. What will he do? So they keep reinventing and bringing these quarterbacks along at just the right time. And if it coals up, Florida beats them on Saturday, I do believe. 
Uh, so think about that. I, 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 what I said earlier today, and people will hear a reference to it in Southern Pigskin. There are seniors in high school that have never seen Tennessee beat Florida. <laughs> there are twelve year olds who have never seen them beat Florida either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but there are seniors in high school. The last time that Florida lost to Tennessee, they were in kindergarten, so they don't remember that game. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like like the guys knocks the last me. Is that kind of like people expect? I said, well, yeah, they expect it because that's all they've ever known around here is beating Tennessee's a piece of cake. When you look at the record, though, go back and now you can see these things better in the rearview mirror. And you go back sometime and look at. Oh, I go back and look at. The 1969 Gator team, some of the things they did. I look at Spurrier's 96 team. You start looking at them and the accomplishments of some of the coaches and things, and you see how good it was. You realize you appreciate what Spurrier did in 96. You appreciate what Urban Meyer did, F- fantastic home in records. 06 and 08. Both had fantastic home records. What Meyer's doing now in Ohio State, as I said, he's <laughs> never lost a home game in Ohio State. And, you know, to have had coaches like that. What did you say What you say about his road record? Did he, never lost in he Ohio never State. Lost a, he's never lost a road game Ohio State. at Ohio State. Never. never. <laughs> that, Crazy. That's amazing to yeah. me. And he had a great record against the rivals. Florida, you look at his rivals record, he owned everybody. I mean, no – Everybody. If you go back and look at how well Florida's done since 1990 against their rivals with a couple of dips in there with much champ, whatever, they've kind of just taken taken it to their rivals all the way around. I, so. got a, I, I, I got a stat for you. How is Tennessee like Vanderbilt and Kentucky? In the last 26 years, they're 6-20 and 20 against Florida. Mm. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds like that. That's Vanderbilt and Kentuckyish. It is. Sure. I mean, and Tennessee is nowhere near the program. They're so f- heads and shoulders above Vanderbilt and Kentucky. Yet, when you look at that record, they got a lot of similarities, don't they? Let me explain to you who Tennessee is. I've done a book on this subject. I've done a book on SEC football. And I've researched General Nalen. You got to understand that that was the from his root came. Dozens of head football coaches. Yeah. And they copied his philosophy. And Florida's program was so tied in with Tennessee. You go back to so many of their coaches coached there, Dickey and Woodruff and so on and so forth. And that was a they were they were the they were the Alabama of their day. So it's kind of funny saying that. And 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 for a long time Tennessee was right up there in national stature with, with teams like Notre Dame, et cetera, et cetera. This is a very proud program. To lose eleven straight time to anybody. To lose 11 straight times to an NFL team would be terrible. So imagine what those fans up there in Tennessee are thinking. I just remember the comment when I was up in Knoxville the year when Urban was coaching here. I want to say it was like 2007 or 8, whatever year it was. And we, uh, our group uh, got out of the car from Gator Country, and we started walking down the, out of the parking place. And one of the Tennessee fans said, you all from Florida? Y'all from Florida. Yeah, we are. It's just uh, – we need to get us a coach like Urban Meyer. <laughs> and that, that was how it was then. So, all right, so speaking of football, we're talking a lot of it. By the way, it's great. Well, it's Tennessee Florida week. And, you know, yeah. as a Florida fan, uh, I like, you know, great to hate Florida State, better to hate Tennessee as far as I'm concerned. So, well, as long know. as you're happy, I'm all right. That's so, all I worry about. I want to say I got a chance to visit with Joey Sorrentino at the quarterback club on Tuesday night. Joey, of course, is opening up. Uh, he's uh, joined a, a group of dentists here in town. He's now. Dr. Sorrentino, and next week as we continue to feature families and football connections, Joey Sorrentino will be here with his dad, Joe. We tried five years to get Joe to be on the air. And now he's coming. Coming on, on, on Wednesday, I said, he just won't come on the, on the air. And Joey said, well, once he gets on, you might not be able to get him off. <laughs> <clears throat> We're looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. And by the way, speaking of football, there's a brand new professional league we're opening up. I just read about it today. Is this the lingerie league? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because I like the lingerie no, league. No, it's not the real football league. That's a real football league. Yeah, for guys like you, maybe. (laughs) Not in my house. We'll take a break, come back. I'll tell you about that right here on, I almost said, but you aren't in sports page. Well, it pretty much is. Yeah, pretty much. Just say, watch book out. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Do you experience redness or flushing with acne-like bumps on your face? If so, you may have rosacea. Rosacea is often worsened by very hot or very cold weather, wind, and certain foods. Red Star Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study to compare a marketed cream to an investigational cream for adults with moderate to severe rosacea. Call Red Star Medical Research at 352-629-5800 for more information. A prior diagnosis is not required. 
qualified participants receive investigational medication and study care at no cost. Compensation for time and travel may be provided. Learn more about this rosacea study. Call Renstar Medical Research at 352-629-5800. Again, that number is 352-629-5800. Visit them at www.renstar.net and like them on Facebook. Nestle in the heart of horse country, just off I-75 exit 354, the award-winning and newly refreshed Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala invites you to pamper yourself in one of our comfy guest rooms. Enjoy our free and fast Wi-Fi, heated outdoor swimming pool, 24-hour fitness center, and our deluxe continental breakfast. Other on-site amenities include a restaurant, putt-putt, golf, and a car wash. Go happy, go hojo at the Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala, proud sponsor of Friday Night High School Football on WOCA, The Source. There's a car accident in this country every five seconds. That's why Allstate thinks it's time for an entirely different kind of car insurance with features like accident forgiveness and a safe driving bonus. It's called Your Choice Auto, and it's only from Allstate. Are you in good hands? You deserve better. Sign up for Your Choice Auto from Allstate. Call the McDonald Agency today at 622-2333. Features are optional and subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Insurance, Northbrook, Illinois. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. So, you used to be wired. Now you're just tired. You used to be thin, but now you're the heaviest you've ever been. You don't necessarily always have to take a med if your thyroid is playing dead. If you have a thyroid disorder, an acupuncture visit may be in order. Come visit me, your primary care physician, Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare. Call me at 352-615-5566. Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson with Verizon. Do you have teenage drivers or elderly parents that drive? I have what you need. It's the new Hum device by Verizon. Plugs directly into your car and sends alerts to your cell phone on the location, speed, and driving habits. And you set boundary alerts. You can call and speak live with an ASC certified mechanic. And if you have an accident and can't respond, Hum will automatically send for help. All this and more for just $10 a month. And if you're in Marion County, I'll even deliver and set it up for free. Call me, 352-528-0020. FlySanford.com, Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Visiting friends and family or just looking for some fun? Book your vacation now to one of their nonstop destinations, including Amsterdam, Brussels, Mexico City, San Juan, as well as over 70 domestic destinations, including New Orleans. For enjoyable travel, come to Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Before you fly, FlySanford.com. We all know the importance of good health, but we may not know the latest advances in medicine that are available to us. Monday at 9 a.m., Bern Paraiso will be our roving medical reporter to tell us about Seven Hill Gastroenterology PA and Dr. Reddy. We'll discuss screening, techniques, and more. So tune in and listen. This is more than news you can use. It's news that could save your life. That's Monday at 9.05 a.m. Back on the Voice of Ocala slash Buddy Sports page coming up in just a minute. Southern picks again tonight. Uh, we'll give you our take on the weekend games coming up. I, I think uh, people will be interested to hear what uh, Mr. Bradshaw has to say about uh, the quarterbacks around the league, which he continues to hammer on a couple of them. And uh, Terry, of course, um, has his thoughts about what's wrong with him, and we'll, you'll enjoy his commentary. I want to mention <clears throat> what I said earlier. Uh, you know, they keep coming up with these new spring leagues for football. Now, I personally really like the USFL. I was living in Denver, and I covered the Denver Golds. And, of course, the Tampa Bay Bandits we all know about. Of course, Spurrier was the coach there. Memphis Showboats had Jim <clears throat> Kelly. Yeah. You, know, was, you know, there's a lot of good uh, Birmingham Stangs. We could go on forever. New York, but, New Jersey Generals, Herschel Walker. And so now I read this today, I thought, well, what could this be? And the headline says it's from a guy named Joe Favrito, who's a PR guy who often sends me stuff. New Pro Football League, longtime sports media executives announced launch. 
plan for spring professional football. So what could this be? <clears throat> well, Michael and Rex Lardner, and a guy named Robert Policino, uh, plan in 2018 to launch a Spring League of American Pro- Football Professional. What? American Football Professional Football. That didn't make sense. I think I mean American Professional Football, which you have teams based on collegiate and geographic affiliations. Well, right there you kind of know. That's been done before with some of these leagues, one which never got started. So I understand it if you have a team in the southeast – and you're, let's just make up a name. Let's say <clears throat> the Stark Nakeds. You ever hear that name before? Yeah. <laughs> the Stark Nakeds. That's actually one of the funny uh, teams we used to talk about. Uh, Sports Illustrated had some of those. Anyway, let's say there was a team in Stark. Whatever. Well, obviously, they would want first dibs on all the Florida and Florida State players. That's how that works. So <clears throat> this SLAF, Spring League of American Football, um, uh, and is involved with a, a guy who's got a lot of background in, in media, uh, two of Michael and Rex Lardner, and um, a longtime Madison Square Garden uh, chief financial officer, Robert Palacino. So they got some got some chops there. They've announced this uh, commission of research by Beta the Research Corporation. They're going to look into this. They said research shows a host of compelling statistics such as 83% of men who watch TV, sports TV, 18 and 34, would make every effort to watch or be more likely to watch SLA football games in spring, as well as 20% of those who do not stream programming through a service like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu. So they're going to try to have spring football. Well, good luck to them. I like football. I love it in the spring. I like it better in the fall. That's why I'm excited about this weekend. So stay tuned. Coming up next, it's Southern Pigs again tonight. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Stay with us and sleep better at the Sleep Inn and Suites of Ocala Bellevue, located next door to Don Garlitz Museum and a few minutes from Florida Horse Park. Our award-winning, newly refreshed Sleep Inn and Suites offer its comfy, clean rooms, free, fast Wi-Fi, and service with a smile. Start your day with a deluxe hot breakfast and unwind in our heated outdoor pool. Our convenient 24-hour fitness and business centers allow you to stay on track whether you're here to play or to work. That's Sleep Inn and Suites, Ocala Bellevue, proud sponsor of Marion County High School Football. This is Kendall Carpenter with Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. I want to introduce you to the finest equestrian opportunity available. If you love horses and enjoy Central Florida's mild climate and rich rolling landscape, come explore Golden Ocala. Bridal trails weave their way through this stunningly beautiful community of stately homes. Our state-of-the-art equestrian center will meet all of your equestrian needs with style. Visit us at goldenocala.com. My name is Bo Briggs. I'm a sixth generation Ocala and I practice law with my father at the Briggs Law Firm. Over the years we've seen many changes to Ocala and many changes in our profession. What has not changed is our commitment to our clients. You will speak with and get to know your attorney. That will never change. A lawyer will personally handle your case, not a paralegal. So if you've been injured in an accident and would appreciate personal attention, you can reach us at 671-4600 or learn more at thebriggslawfirm.com. Are you in the pro-